What's up guys, CLS Games here, and today we're doing a solo run uh, with Zapdos on Pokemon Red. So first up, we'll go up to our rival battle here. So Zapdos versus Squirtle, it's only going to end up one way. We miss there with our first Thundershock, and one more Thundershock doesn't take out in one. So there's two th Thundershocks there, one with a miss, and we take out our first rival battle. So I did want to do, so you've probably seen in my previous videos that I've done the Mewtwo, uh, run and I've also done a Mew run uh, so I thought what best way to crack on with another legendary so we'll start with probably my favorite legendary um, bird here being Zapdos so we'll crack on with this this run here so probably thinking the first gym is probably going to be a little bit difficult um, Zapdos only having an electric type move and a bird type move although the bird type move is probably the best one in the game so with drill pick there as you can see so We'll see how we get on. We may need to level up ever so slightly. Um, just give us a bit more of an advantage. There could be some tactics in play as well. With regards to getting that battle done. So just heal up there. And we'll go into Brock's gym now. So we'll, we'll battle this first trainer. Just to get a bit more XP here. And hopefully we can rank up. Level up a little bit. So one drill pick nearly takes out Diglett there. And second one dispatches them quite quickly. So now we're onto Sand Troop. So you can see even the ground type at the moment is causing Zapdos a little bit of a problem with Drill Peck. And Thundershock obviously not being effective at all. It's resistant to that. So we'll just heal up there. And we'll save it now. And we'll go ahead and do our first attempt at Brock. So Brock sends out Geodude. We use a Drill Peck doesn't do a lot of damage there as expected uh, so we just got to grind and grind away now hoping that it doesn't hit us too much which it doesn't so far it's just using defense curl there so you know now it's starting to hit us which is causing us a bit of a problem and um, it's taking a fair chunk of our health away there now we're on to the Onyx. So Onyx you're probably aware does have Bide, which is just used there. So when it uses Bide, we're not going to attack it with Drill Peck. So obviously then it will deal that damage to us once Bide attacks. So we just want it to use as many Bides, as many Screeches as it can, until we can attack it. So if you've already seen there, I don't have many power points. I don't have any power points now for Drill Peck. So we're going to have to rely on using Thundershocks until we get to Struggle, which we can then attack it again. So it uses Bide. We can't attack it because it's not effective. So we're just going to use as many power points as we can and hope we can get enough down before it attacks us again. Which you can see, oh, and we have to restart. So we'll restart it there. We won't um, continue and gain any experience points at all there. So we're just going to restart the battle now against Brock. Which we are now. So he sends out the Geodude again. So I think, right, what we'll do this time, we'll try and get rid of some power points from Thundershock straight away but obviously we are leaving ourselves open and sacrificing a bit of health here so we're already on half health and now because it's got so many defense curls in we are struggling to take it down and as you can see the battle is pretty much over already so that tactic did not work so restart the game again so a third attempt now can we do anything different so my first thoughts were let's just use drill peck and see if we can get as many critical hits as we can. Not worrying about trying to get rid of any power points. And hopefully we get lucky on them critical hits. Which as you can see we haven't had any so far. And it's now getting more difficult to take down Geodude's health. And we only have 7 left remaining now. And we're down to 17 HP now. We have just leveled up to level 11. But we're now on such a back foot for the Onyx already. So this is just showing that although Zapdos is a legendary um, it will have some difficulties against Brock obviously just not having those moves so yeah this is we are struggling here if he tackles us anymore we've only got two power points left for for drill pick there and yeah so we're going to have to try and rely on struggle oh and he's turning us down so We'll retry. So this is now our fourth attempt. And as you can see, nearly taking down Geodude there. We only have 15 health remaining. Now 18. Now we've just leveled up. So straight in there. 
with Drill Packs. We we'll use Thunder Shock whilst he's using Bide. Use another one there, he's used Tackle. He's now used Bide, so we'll use some more Thunder Shocks. Can't release any energy because we haven't attacked, so we use another Drill Pack. Tackle, we're now down to 7 HP. He uses a Screech, which is good. Not very effective. Bide, we'll now use Thunder Shock. Not very effective because it doesn't attack. So we'll wait for him to release an energy, and then we'll use another Drill Pack. Another Bide. More Thunder Shocks to get rid of our power points. Another Drill Pack there. Critical hit. Another Drill Pack there. A Screech. And we only have... Oh. We've got no more power points. So we have to rely on him not using Tackle, which he does. So now our fifth attempt at this badge. And so you see that already this one's going well. Lovely Critical Hit there. And look how much HP we still have. 38 out of 43 now. We have lots of power points left for Drill Pack because we've got so many critical hits on Geodude so we're really in a good stead for this battle this time so all we've got to do is make sure we use Thundershock when he uses Bide and hope he doesn't get any critical hits or get them tackles in too often so he uses Bide use some more Thundershocks as soon as you release energies we'll get back onto Drill Peck just praying for those critical hits so we use more Thundershocks so it might be a case that we don't actually get down to struggle to use all of our power points but we'll just make sure we do not attack when he's using bide so that will cause us a problem so a nice hit there he uses bide so we use more thunder shocks so as you see this battle is quite repetitive and it does take a little while we get a lovely critical hit there one more drill pack and finally after five attempts brock is defeated so that should be the hardest gym battle we do now from this point um, obviously we've got Misty's gym which is water which should be nice and easy for us just to make, need to make sure that we uh, we get, get um, us up to a good level so we just grab the rare candy and cerulean there and now we go against rival 2 so we should do okay here so our rival sends out Pidgeotto so we use gets a quick attack in there so we use Thundershock and we get two Thundershocks in there that's that Abra, we'll use a drill pack. That's gone as well. So you can see how powerful Zapdos is here, especially with drill pack. It's such a good move here. So we didn't manage to one hit KO Squirtle with the Thundershock there, but after two, that is Rival 2 defeated. So we'll head up to Bill now and we'll get the uh, SS ticket. And then we'll come back down, we'll heal up, and we'll go against our second gym battle, which will be against Misty. It should be relatively easy see having an electric legendary Pokemon here so there's one mandatory drip um, challenger in here so we'll just go against the Goldeen now one hit KO and that's there so Zapdos now level 20 so this should put us in a good position to go against Misty here so stands out Staryu and we'll hit that with a Thundershock one hit KO there lovely that's exactly what we needed because Starmie could cause us a bit of a problem with having such good defense here. So, uses a bubble beam. We managed to get a Thundershock, but it doesn't take half health there. So, we use another Thundershock there. Nearly takes out into the two hits. So, we'll just use another one now. Gets a tackle in with a critical hit. But we should be able to take it down here. So, there we go. And that's Misty defeated. So from this point we'll head off to Vermilion City, um, which we'll go to the SSN, and then from that point we'll then go to LT Surge. So in the SSN we don't need to collect anything in here or about any trainers, so we'll just head straight to Rival 3, which is quite quick after the Rival 2 battle. There's not a lot of time or gameplay before then, so... We're now head against Rival 3. So Pidgeot has only gained one level since the last time we battled it. And we take it down with one Thundershock. And now against Raticate, that's a one hit KO with a critical hit there. Zapdos now level 23. We'll use a Drill Pick on Kadabra. One hit KO. And we've got a War Turtle, which we use a Thundershock. Nearly a one hit KO there. And second hit takes it down. So that's Rival 3 defeated. We'll just go and grab Cut. And then we'll head off to see LT Surge for our third gym battle. So 
Find the switch there, second switch, and now we're ready. So LT Surge where it has electric types, we're an electric flying type, so we use a drill pick there, not very effective, but still takes nearly half health. It'll be three hits for Voltorb there. Pikachu, very poor defense, so a one hit KO there with drill pick, which just wasn't very effective, but still still takes it down in one. So now the Raichu. So two drill picks so far, uses a Thunderbolt there, and three hits, and that is our third gym badge there. So as you can see, Zapdos is very powerful at this stage of the game, so even though we was against LT Surge there, it didn't cause us any problems at all. So we've gone through Rock Tunnel, and we're now here in Lavender Town, so we'll just heal up, and then we'll head towards the game corner. It's a very difficult plan on four times speed, which I do play on my emulator here. So we're now into this game corner and we'll just defeat this trainer here and then the, the door will open and we'll have our first battle against Giovanni. So drill pick, such a powerful move here that just taken down so easy and effortlessly. So we'll just save here and now we'll face Giovanni. So Giovanni's Pokemon here, so he's got an Onyx. We'll have to do a similar tactic as last time, if he does use Bide, we'll have to counteract that. He uses a Rock Throw, but doesn't really do much damage there. Another one there, so that's Onyx defeated there. Now level 31, so Rhyhorn, similar again. There, and you probably see we now have Thunderbolt on our Zapdos now as well, which takes Kangaskhan down in one with the critical hit. So that's our first encounter against Giovanni done. And now we head to... Pokemon Tower and rival battle number four here. So you'll see there has been an increase in our rivals' ba um, Pokemon levels here. So yeah, we should fare quite well in this battle um, just because our Zapdos is so powerful now. So yeah, we're, we're looking good for this one. Um, how we get on throughout the latter part of the game, we'll have to see, but set at this stage. So Pidgeot is now level 25, so we do have Thunderbolt, so that takes it down in one. Nice bit of experience there. And now there's a Growlithe. Another Thunderbolt takes that down in one. Execute. We'll use a Drill Pack, which is super effective. One hit KO on that as well. And now the Kadabra. Not gained many levels since it, we last ro faced it. So again, another one-hit KO, and now we have Water Tortle, level 25. One Thunderbolt, and it's down. So th that battle is relatively easy for our Zapdos at this stage. Level 32, being a legendary electric type, it wasn't really going to have much problems. So nice and easy there. So after here, we'll go up, we'll face the Cubone's mother, Marowak here. Drill pack on there, and another KO. There, so that's two hits for that with a critical hit. So now we'll head to Erica's gym, uh, which is our fourth gym battle. And we'll just one man to try trainer in here. And now we face Erica. So we should be okay here. So obviously, no electric type moves are going to be effective here, but we do have that all important drill pack attack, which against the grass types should serve us well. So one hit KO on the victory bell there. A one hit KO on the Tangler there, and now for the Vile Plume, and another one hit KO there. So our Zapdos level 35 with Drill Peg against the, the Grass types was no match. So we'll get out of this gym now, and then we shall head to Fuchsia City. And we will go against Koga, and then we'll also do the Safari Zone, um, which we'll grab the HM Surf and also the Gold Teeth ready for getting strength HM so we'll just go against the, the Snorlax here just for a bit of experience here and I've not showed it in any of my videos before so there we are so we're now we've come down the cycle path and we'll just heal up gain any power points that we may require and then we shall go against the fifth gym now so there's a couple of mandatory trainers in here one of them being this juggler here so we'll see how we fare. So Drowsies do have quite good defence, as you'll see there. Just just hold on against the drill pack. 
So we use a Thunderbolt on it there. So now we'll Hypno, we use another Drill Peck, it takes just over half health. Another Drill Peck takes it down completely. So there we are. That's that battle done. And now we go towards Koga. So Koga uses a mixture of poison types. Um, so we should be okay here, but we're not going to have anything super effective. So we'll start off with Thunderbolt there, one hit KO, and then we'll use a Drill Peck. On that, I probably should have gone for Thunderbolt. Um, may have took it down in one, but we'll never know. Another Thunderbolt there on Coffin. And then he sent out the Weezing, which will use another Thunderbolt. Critical hit, but not quite a K one hit KO there. And then we take it down with the next hit. So in Zapdos now level 38, and that's our fifth gym badge. So from this point, we'll head to the Rocket Tower, or Slifco building. And we shall find our fifth rival battle now. So just one trainer to do in here just so we can get the card key. Sends out an Arbok level 33. Nice and easy for us there, one hit KO. We'll grab the card key. So we'll also get Lapras after this battle as well, which will be our other HM slave. So he sends out a level 37 Pidgeot, so the levels have come up considerably since we last battled. Uh, Growlithe now level 38, another one hit KO on there with Thunderbolt. We'll use another Drill Peck, Another one hit KO there, so although his levels have come up considerably, Zapdos is just so powerful at this stage in the game. Another one hit KO, critical hit on Zapdos there, uh, sorry, on Alakazam there, and Blastoise, a one hit KO with Thunderbolt there. So his levels have increased considerably, but still no match for our overpowered, probably a little bit over leveled Zapdos at this point. So we'll just grab Lapras here, and then we can teach its Surf and then Strength when we get it. So. Now our last battle here in this tower, which is against Giovanni, which is our penultimate battle against him. Obviously we know we battle him again inside his gym in Viridian City. So we'll take down the Nidorino very quickly there and the Kangaskhan there with Thunderbolt. It's up to us now level 41. Royhorn, we'll use a drill pick on there. Not very effective at all. So we'll just have to grind this one out. And that's the Royhorn down. Now the Nidder Queen. Use a Thunderbolt there. I did slip. I went to go for takedown, but I only pressed the up button once. So take that down. And then quite fittingly, we use takedown to take down the Nidder Queen. So that's Giovanni. We won't bother grabbing the Master Ball there, because we don't need to catch anything. So now we head down to Cinnabar Island, um, which will go into the Pokemon Mansion, get the Gym Key. And then we'll be heading against Blaine. So it's quite unlucky to get so many battles coming down this route. Like there is a strong chance that you won't get any battles. But I do seem to get four battles in this war. Which is quite annoying. But not too much of an issue. So we'll just heal up. We'll get some items from the Mart. And because we have Dig, it'll be useful going into the Pokemon Center there. So we can just dig from here. And then we end up outside the Pokemon Center. We'll just heal up there. I do need to get out of that habit. I do seem to heal up even though I don't need to. I didn't have any battles inside the Pokemon Mansion there. But it's just habit of always healing when I'm at a Pokemon Center. It does waste a little bit of time on these runs. But as I say, I'm not really doing it for time. It's just more a personal challenge to see what times I can do um, for each Pokemon, really. So we're now against Blaine. Ponytar taken down there. Drill pick against Rapidash. Thunderbolt there takes it down. I probably should have started with Thunderbolt. Uh, one Thunderbolt there for Arcanine. A little bit of recall, which helps us with the next one. So that's our Volcano badge, and that's Blaine defeated. We get the TM for Fire Blast, which we won't need to use on this on this run. So we exit the gym now, and we head over to Sabrina's gym, which could cause us a bit of a problem. Um, Sabrina's levels are a little bit higher now. Uh, so... But our Zapdos, as we know, has not struggled ever since Brock's gym, so which was the first gym batch. So we head in now. Sabrina's gym fight. She sends out a Kadabra level 38. We use Drill Peck and takes it down in one. Mr. Mime, we use another Drill Peck, which takes that down in one. Zapdos now level 43. Venomoth, 
go for Thunderbolt here. Doesn't take it down. Um, I thought, well, being a flying type, so we use a probably should have used drill pick there, being a grass type. So it's all to do with different um, typings in the early games. They do change through the latter games. It's just hard to remember which what types were which in the earlier games. So that's uh, Sabrina taken there. Now we head off for our battle against Giovanni, which could cause us some problems. Um, obviously, we've battled him in the past. We know what types he uses, uh, but he does have a couple of different Pokemon in this battle, so we'll now find out. So here we go, our, our last gym battle here, and not many battles left here before we go to the Elite Four. So Giovanni wants to fight. Let's go. So Raihorn he sends out first. I've taught Zapdos Toxic here just to give us a bit of help on the ground and rock types. Um, obviously Zapdos doesn't have anything other than normal flying or electric types. So I did need a bit of assistance here. So go for a Toxic doesn't affect the Drio there. So it doesn't affect it again. So I cut my losses and just go for a Drill Pick. Which I probably should have done from the start because it does one hit KO. So we go for a Drill Pick there. And because of that sand attack from Doug Trio, we are now struggling to get a hit in, as you can see. So it's not ending well. I'm now paralyzed with 6 HP. And it's probably time to restart this battle. Obviously, we can't use items in battle here. That is one of the, the challenge solo rules. So to only use one Pokemon, no items in battle. So yeah, we restart that battle. There's no chance we was going to be able to do anything from there. So, looking back, I probably should have just used the drill pick straight away on Zapdos, uh, with Zapdos on Dugtrio, because it probably would have outspeeded. So I just go straight away for a drill pick on Royhorn, rather than trying to use Toxic. Take down misses, which is annoying. Use the Fury Attack. You get a bit of recall there from Takedown. Use another drill pick, and that's the Royhorn gone. So use a drill pick straight away on Dugtrio, which is what we should have done the first time. Use another drill pick there, on Nether Queen, and now you can see without missing from that sand attack on the first battle, we are now cruising quite nicely. So, and that is Nether King down. So we just have the ride on now. So I do use the Toxic tactic here. Um, obviously, Toxic does take more health each time it it poisons. So we're just using Drill Packs here. He uses a Guard Spec, which helps us out. He's Take Down, which gives us a little bit of recoil. Goes for Horn Drill, which doesn't doesn't hit. We just take down there, it misses, but because of Toxic, we win the battle. So, you see, Toxic was quite important in that battle. Um, it's not something I'd usually teach, to be honest, especially a Zapdos, but with only using Zapdos in this run, we do need something else. Uh, and I believe Toxic worked quite well there. So, our last battle against the rival before he comes to the champion here. So this is the rival six battle. So you'll see here that his levels have considerably risen now, and they are now above us. So one Thunderbolt takes Pidgeot out there, and we now have Raihon. So we go for the Toxic Tactic again. It doesn't hit, but it hits on the second attempt. So then we go for Drill Packs to take down a really nice critical hit there. Another one nearly takes it down. So yeah, Toxic's definitely helped us in it with that battle there. We use a Drill Pack against Execute there. Alakazam will use another drill pack. It doesn't take it out on the one there, but Alakazam is now level 50. So we do lose a bit of health there. And Blastoise will use a Thunderbolt, which takes it down in one. So that is our last rival battle there before he becomes champion. And we now head off to the Indigo Plateau and Victory Road. And then we shall be at the Elite Four. So we fly there, just heal up quickly, just in case we do encounter anything in Victory Road, there are I think there's one mandatory battle in there, so we just make sure we're, we're fully healthed up for that. So we heal up after that battle, and um, I just put some put our HM slaves back inside the computer, so we just have our Zapdos with us. I do buy some items, do buy some potions, and also some uh, yeah. So. First battle here against Laurel Elite. Let's see how we get on. So I haven't used any rare candies or anything at this stage. So it does take quite a bit of health off us there with Aurora Beam. Use a Thunderbolt against Cloyster, which takes it down in one. 
Now onto Slowbro, we use another Thunderbolt, another one hit KO with a critical hit there. Now Jinx can cause us a bit of a problem. See, Thunderbolt's not going to be super effective and Drill Peck's not going to do much because it's an Ice type. So we're now on to Lapras, which doesn't take another one, and we hit get with a Blizzard. So that is the first run over pretty quickly. So we reset the game, don't want to carry over any experience points, and we go again. So, our second battle here. So again, I've not used any rare candies. We go for a hit on Dugong there. He uses a super potion, so a second Thunderbolt takes it down. Go Thunderbolt again on Cloyster. Now level 48, one hit KO. Thunderbolt on Slowbro, takes that down. It doesn't take it down. Just in range there. So we don't, luckily we don't take any damage, but then we're against the Jinx, we do lose half our health there. Go for a Thunderbolt on Lapras, it uses a super potion. And Thunderbolt there takes down the Lapras. So not too bad in that battle. Uh, we did get a bit of luck with Laurel Lee using potions when it should have attacked. So now we face Bruno. So similar to Brock, uh, we are going to have to mix our strategy up a little bit. So we use a Toxic on Onyx there, which will help take out the health when we're not attacking. We use a Drill Pick, which barely does anything at all. So we are really relying on Toxic here to help us. I think about using Takedown, but it's the re just the recall that was it's going to hinder us at this point. So that's that down. So we use a drill peck on Hitmonchan, which is super effective, but doesn't take it down in one. So we have to use another one there just to take that down. So hopefully with Hitmonlee, we can get a one hit KO on this one, which we do with the critical hit, which is nice. Another Onyx. So we'll use our toxic strategy again. Um, just above half health for us here. So not doing too bad at the moment. Use a takedown and sacrifice a little bit of HP. Using Rage, and with the Poison, should hopefully, yep, that's it, so that's down. Then we'll use a Drill Peck on my champ there, which takes it down. So that is Bruno defeated. A little bit more difficult, that battle. Um, obviously, we're not massively over-leveled, so we'll just heal up, and we'll head off to Agatha. So, as we all know, Agatha can cause us some problems. It's just such a lottery when it comes to how she's going to attack and how our moves are going to hit, so... She uses a super potion there. Thunderbolt doesn't quite take it down, and we've already lost quite a considerable amount of health there. So we use Thunderbolt and Goldbat there, which is a one hit KO. Zapdos now level 50. She sends out Horner, which we get a critical hit, but we don't take it down. Uses um, Hypnosis there, which fails, and we finish up with a Drill Peck. We use a Drill Peck on Arbok. Doesn't quite take it down in three, two hits. So three hits there on 10 HP, and we're now. That's the end of that. So, no save in between any Elite Four members, so we will have to now start again. So, this stage you're probably thinking, probably time for some rare candies. We were lucky with Laura Lee the first time. We did get a bit of luck as well with Bruno, and I just don't think we're going to be lucky enough to get through Agatha as well. So, we do learn, um, learn Thunder here, level 52. Or level 51, sorry. So we'll get rid of Takedown, which we've not really used much. And Thunder will help us with those one-hit KOs as well. So we'll retry now and we'll go against Laurelie for the, the third time. So we'll start off with the Thunder, which does hit, which is great. It's only 80% effective in the early games here. We knew we could one-hit KO both Cloyster and Slowbro with a Thunderbolt. So we do that there. We use Thunderbolt against Jinx now, so you can see how much more damage it does now. We know we're a high level. Um, it does hit us, but not enough. And Lapras is now one hit KO with Thunder. It could have been close with a Thunderbolt, but I thought the risk of the 80% hit on the Thunder was more worth it than potentially getting a Blizzard and finishing our attempt quite quickly. So we're against Bruno now. Um, we use our Toxic strategy again. So we'll get it poisoned and then we'll hit it with drill pecs. Obviously we haven't got takedown now because we've got thunder. But we are doing that little bit more damage. And we've got that little bit more HP and a little bit more defense. So it is all adding up for us. So he used harden. He didn't really attack us too much. Agility I did think about. But I think we're better off with the toxic. I don't want to lose any other moves. So drill pick there on Hitmonchan. One hit KO. Another one hit KO there on Hitmonlee. Now we use a toxic strategy with Onyx, and then we'll finish it with some drill packs. So we'll take a little bit of time to get through, a bit of grinding, 
just go through it now. So it should take it down with that last poison now. And it does. So now we're on to the Machamp with the drill pick. One hit KO, critical hit. And we are now on to Agatha. So you can see that the battles are a little bit easier now. We've got them rare candies and we've got Thunder as well now. So we'll see how we get on with Agatha this time. So we are going to rely on Thunder a bit on this battle. Just because of the sheer, sheer power of the move. And just hope that it doesn't miss. So yeah, one Thunder there and a Thunderbolt finishes Gengar and it doesn't end up attacking us. A Thunderbolt there, a Golbat, which is a one hit KO. Now level 56. So he's a Thunderbolt on Haunter. Luckily it misses us and two hits for that and it's down. Use another Thunderbolt on Arbok, which nearly does a one hit KO, but she does use a potion and we're able to attack it again. So uses Confuse Ray after our Thunder here. We hurt ourselves with Confusion, go for a Thunderbolt and it hits. And that is Agatha to be it. So we, we did get a bit, of li bit of, little bit of luck there, but I think our strategy worked quite well. And especially now being a higher level, we were in a better stead to do well there so our first attempt now at lance so i'm just checking power points there make sure we've got enough which i think at this stage may be worth using max either no we'll wait we'll wait till after well hopefully after the lance battle um just before we face our rival which is the champion now so We'll go for a Thunder on Gyarados, which is one hit KO, critical hit. Dragonair, we'll go for Drill Peck, which luckily takes more than half damage. And it's two hit KO for Dragonair. We'll do the same tactic again on this one. Takes a little bit more this time. Uh, so two hits there on Dragonair again. So now he's, she send, he sends out Aerodactyl. Does get a moving before us, he outspeeds. But a Thunderbolt takes it down in one. And we use a Drill Peck on Dragonite there. Thunderbolt. So we haven't got anything effective against it now so we're just gonna hit it with what we can doesn't take it out there uses a hyper potion lucky critical hit there use a toxic just in case and we go for a thunder oh the poison takes it out so we've got so lucky there 13 health left remaining so wow yeah we done we was lucky there we we did miss on a couple of attacks, and some of the attacks were just really poor. We did use a hyper beam, which we survived, and obviously did use the hyper potion as well. So, yeah, we were we were lucky there. So we'll heal up, and we used our either as well. So we got some more power points for drill pick, which should come in handy. So, yeah, here we go, our final battle against the champion, our rival now. So we should be okay here. But you never know what can happen. So Thunder misses. But it does hit on the second attempt there. So it's a one hit KO for Pidgeot. Alakazam. We go for Drill Peck. Which nearly takes down the one. Hits us with the side Beam. Use another Drill Peck just to finish it off. We Obviously we did restore the power points on there. So he sends out Rhydon. So we use our Toxic strategy here. So Toxic hits first time. We hit it with the Drill Peck. barely doing any damage whatsoever. But that... That poison is really, really helping us here, as you can see. So, got a critical hit. Uses Fury Attack, which is taking us a bit of damage from us. But poison really helps us there. Now level 58. We're on to the Arcanine. Unsure to what to use. You go for a Drill Peck. Doesn't quite take half health. But we do get a critical hit on the second attack, which is so important. So, now Executor nearly takes it down in the one. We're on three health here. Three health with just the Blastoise to go. What do we go? We go for a Thunder. 80% chance and we hit it with a 1 KO. So as you can see, we got very lucky in that battle there. And that is the champion defeated. So yeah, that was a bit bit scary towards the end. Uh, we got lucky with Lance with the Hyper Beam on the Dragonite. Um, and then we also got very lucky there with the Executor using the Stomp. Leaving us with three health, and then are going for thunder with only 80% accuracy, one hit KO. We perhaps could have gone for a thunderbolt, but I hadn't tested it before. That was our first attempt at Lance. So what time do we finish with with Zapdos? So we finished with a five hours and 55 minutes. So I believe that is six minutes slower than the first um, Mewtwo attempt. And around 50 minutes slower than our Mew attempt, which is the last round. So we are getting a bit quicker. 
Uh, thanks very much for watching. I'll see you again in the next video. Bye-bye.